These are Cuisinaire rods. We can use them in a variety of ways to work with math concepts. One of the things that's so great about them is that there are no markings on them. And so we can assign whatever value we want to them and use them in relation to one another. This makes it really great to use them for fractions. In this case, what we want to do is we want to use them to add two fractions that have related denominators. So I have an expression here that we are going to work with. And this expression is 1 third plus 5 6. We know that the denominators are related because one of the denominators is a multiple of the other one. What we want to do first is we want to represent these two fractions. I'm going to take a look at this one that says 5 6. And if this has a value of 10, this one has a value of 6. So what I'm going to do is I want to represent 5, 6. And that's what I have here. I have 5, 6. Now, I want to represent 1 third, but we need the same denominator when we are adding. So I'm going to take the same green rod that is 6, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to think which rods could we use where I could put 3 on here in order to represent thirds. And when I explore, I find that with the red rods, each one of these is 1 third of the green rod. So I can represent 1 third this way. So here I have one-third, which would also be equivalent to two-sixths plus five-sixths. So if I was to rewrite this, I could rewrite it as two-sixths plus five-sixths. These are equivalent fractions. Now what I can do is I can put the two sets of 6 together, and I see what I have. I have 5 6, and another 2 6 is 7 6. Now if I want to write it as a mixed number, I can see here that I have one whole, and then I would have one more sixth in addition to that. So 7 6 is equal or the same as the mixed number 1 and 1 6. And here is one way in which we can use Cuisinaire rods to add fractions that have related denominators.